his website, right? Or feel like I, feel I have a cancer. Distribute it real time processing using TensorFlow or Kafka in Apache Storm. Anyone here use uh, TensorFlow? TensorFlow, alright. Uh, anyone use Kafka here? Ah, uh, you can replace me. <laughs> uh, how about Apache Storm? Storm, okay now. Uh, any dis uh, distributed real time processing done here? No, okay. Uh, welcome to my talk again. Not uh, not a clickbait. I hope uh, hopefully. So introduction. This is my company. Dan. We study about social media landscape. So we have a lot of data related to parti keadilan rakyat. Oh, I'm sorry for everyone cannot see it. Parti keadilan uh, perkasa. So we know exactly the timestamp when we talk. We when people talk negative, positive, and natural. Uh, landscape and analysis. So at pinning what kind of politics topic uh, people say it, right and we have from Instagram data we have a crawler uh, I know exactly this is a uh, woman's side men's side and I know what exactly what men's side want a batik shit I'm not sure why is it really true I don't have Instagram anyone have Instagram here uh, for women woman one plus size is it true anyone here <laughs> woman okay I don't know so my company is, uh, uh, actually we are selling data, not a dashboard. So the dashboard just to show what actually what you can do with the data. Actually, the data is really massive, and if you know how exactly how to mine the data, you can get a goal. So my company, uh, we have very big problem here to pro to process almost perfect real time. So the max delay we can uh, uh, tolerate is a fifteen minutes. Uh, I tweak, so the maximum I can tolerate my tweak uh, come to process fifteen minutes after that. Which is okay, uh, which is around uh, from Peter is really expensive, ten thousand USD dollar. Uh, we quote, uh, we quote uh, Facebook and Instagram caller. Uh, I cannot share the quote, even I love for open source. Uh, <coughs> we have our. <coughs> I'm sorry, coding is bad for us. <laughs> uh, the post solution we use uh, Py uh, native Python Q with simple multi threading to call. The text classification API. So the result is 12 hours delays, right? So this is the first time thing. We use Elasticsearch to store everything, all the data. Right? 12 hours is no joke, right? We don't want that. If 12 hours is not a real time processing, right? So the problem with native Python Q, uh, once we close the container, the data is lost, right? Because we bind with CI CD. Let's say you use CI CD, someone push to the master, you will auto reload. Uh, uh, we use, uh, uh, we use circle CI, so the data is lost, right? Even you have a very pending, a lot of data that, that stay in the queue. We don't want that, right? Because all the data is very, uh, we want to process all the data. And to be a concurrency program, it's a mess, uh, really messy, uh, single program in the Python. So you need to concern a lot of queue when, to cons uh, when you need to process and so much more. So alternative to Python queue, we look into PubSub, Redis, GCP, and RabbitMQ, which is pure PubSub. So it's not what we want. We have many to one, one to many, and many to many. So this is common pops up. Right? If you go to the GCP, you can get all this. So this is literally I copy from the GCP. I'm sorry, anyone here from Google? If it's not, I don't want to use a GCP. It's, right? So our idea, we want to have more on publisher, say or Twitter alone. We have a publisher from a streaming. We have a from searching. Uh, do not uh, do not forget about recovery. Uh, let's say the container down, the server is down. So everything is we want to recover. We want more than one subscriber. Process a batch, which is we call it a batch real time processing. Right, uh, the size of subscriber uh, can be dynamic. Let's say I want to scale the the processing uh, unit to ten of containers easily like that. So I don't want to hard code which uh, subscriber need to uh, subscribe subscriptions. I want to make dynamic, right? Uh, without data replication, <coughs> so I want to continue this until the end of the world, right? Uh, so basically, batch processing plus real time processing, dynamic consumer, auto balancing, process once replication system, right? A lot of things. Uh, our idea, so this is the black magic. Let's say you have a Twitter search one k text, and you have streaming two k two k thousand of text, and then. The subscriber, uh, the, the black magic box auto balance, auto split from the 3000 into 1k every subscriber. Uh, is there any such system? Actually, yes, it's a Kafka. 
And the term here, I think maybe I, I search the wrong term. It's not a pub sub, but it's a streaming lock. Right. The good thing about Kafka, uh, the, uh, the people that person or unit that pull the data, we call it consumer. But for the pub sub, we call it uh, subscriber. Uh, consumer. So for streaming data, a single uh, consumer is still able to catch up, right? Let's say you have a very fast velocity, it's very fast, and your API is very slow at the end, right? So you want to scale it. And at the end, you can uh, the rate of incoming message you cannot catch up. Last time, uh, like I showed you, I have 12 hours delays. So it's still, uh, the process is very slow, but the data is too fast. Uh, obviously, there's a need such as to scale the consumption of, from the topics. Just like multiple producers can write to the same topic. We want to do that, right? Because the, uh, the producer can write to topics uh, like that and the uh, mostly the system will auto-balance. Uh, usually the system here will auto-balance to the, the topic, right? So, uh, we want to do that for the consumers also, which is uh, we want to allow multiple consumers to read from the same topic splitting the data between them. So no replication, we want to process once, right? Uh, let's say this is the consumer from the Kafka. We can have more than one partition, which is you can put uh, more than one machine uh, to store the data. So it's pretty easy to do on Kafka because Kafka be on top of a zookeeper. You want to know it's zookeeper? All right, All right. <laughs> so this is very straightforward topic to one, right? So inside a topic, we can have multiple partition, and the multiple, multiple partition can distribute a multiple machine if you have. Uh, one consumer. Let's say suddenly uh, you, you add another consumer, so it will balance, uh, right? Anyone that uses Kafka uh, can uh, saw this behavior, right? So we don't need to define the K partition for N consumer. Let's say the consumer 2. I don't need to hard code the consumer 2 need to subscribe to 0 or 2 or 3. It will auto like that, simple as that. So you can scale the consumer until uh, some until hundred of uh, times, and it depends on you. So what happens if a consumer left the group, uh, crash or admin scale down, doesn't have money, or you scaling up too much money, right? So do not worry, it will auto the assignment, simple as that. So each partition has its own log size, which is size of partition offset, uh, last index being pool and lag, log size minus offset. It's like this. Uh, I use for dash this dashboard. I use uh, Yahoo uh, Yahoo Kafka. Oh my god! Uh, from here, I can see clearly it's different. So this is the consumer. My consumer. I have five consumer. Uh, this is the log size, which is uh, the total numbers, and the consumer offset is offset which the index that been processed or been pulled. If the lag is very big, means that you have a very uh, you have a delay. Right? Your process is very slow. You need to do something. Scale up or uh, reduce your complexity to process. Sometimes uh, the Kafka read more than uh, uh, to look more than right hand side. I'm not sure why. If is it a Kafka uh, bugs or the, the from the Yahoo dashboard bugs? Supposedly not a negative. Anyone know the problem here? I don't know. So I just use it. So Docker compose Kafka. Uh, anyone use here Docker? Anyone doesn't know Docker? Doesn't use Docker? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. So we can scale scale Kafka as many as we want. Uh, we can give a Kaf uh, we must give a network to Kafka cluster, or else we can connect to uh, Kafka at all. Simple as that. Anyone can understand right? this Docker compose configuration? All right, nice. Uh, make sure you understand uh, the properties for the broker. Uh, default is like this. So how many partition? Default is 10. So this is the partition, which is here. You can predefine. You want 20. You can put 100 and so much more. It depends on you. Uh, replication factor. Let's say you want to, but if you want to set more than one, the replication factor. Uh, make sure you have more than one broker. Uh, Kafka Manager, provided by Yahoo. I just put inside the in Docker Compose. And or Kafka REST from Confluence. Anyone use Confluence here? Confluence uh, has a great support for Kafka. <coughs> 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 oh, don't coding. 
right? So you can uh, curl a local host through topics. You can get list of uh, topics, pure rest to to uh, to, uh, to know what is inside your Kafka, right? Now you run. It, so you, if you see like this, uh, our Kafka is ready. Simple as that. So now we want to uh, code the producer. Uh, I use a Kafka uh, Python. Mm, uh, and then I use the partition uh, round robin to, to how to distribute among the data to our consumers. So if you check the documentation inside the Kafka Python, there's a, uh, another method how to distribute the data. The simplest thing is round robin, you just skip circle. And let's say I subscribe to data from a TwiPy. So you can bind the data, uh, you can push the data from the TwiPy to this function and then it will publish inside the Kafka. So topic name is Twitter, you can give any topic name. So if you see that, you can see a publish in what kind of timestamp and so much more. If you see this, everything is okay. Uh, you can check on the Kafka rest. Everything is like this. You can see how many partition uh, and so much more. Leader partition and blah, blah, blah. I believe this is okay. Now, how about our Twitter consumer? Right, we already push publisher. So how about the Twitter consumer? So storm, we just storm, right? So to pull the data, do something with data. Uh, why I purchase Storm? It's a Hadoop, but it's a um, micro batch processing, uh, 100 batch, 1000, but not too big, or or else you take a long time to process. Uh, it's not big as a Hadoop, map reduce streaming. So scalable is very easy. Just add new port numbers and then so we also can distribute the processing more than one machine. Typical Apache product. Right. A fault tolerance, if you code a bug, is just keep continuing to uh, do the process. Uh, so this is this uh, the architecture of Storm. So let's say we have the data source, we have the spout, we have the bulk, and the target. So the data source is from our Kafka. Lah. Uh, so the consumer uh, here, spout is the pooling layer, means that you pull. You are the consumer. So the bulk is to process the data from the spout. Uh, it's a process, and the process can depend on another process. Anyone use uh, here uh, Spotify Luigi or Apache Airflow? So we code the DAG, right? So similar in Apache Storm, we can code the DAG for the bulk. And choose your own target for the, uh, for the target site. You want to store Elasticsearch, Postgres, MongoDB, depends on you. Uh, storm system, so we can have more than one supervisor on different machine. So you can distribute this boat on more than one machine, but you don't see as a multiple machine. You can it treated as a one machine. Simultaneously on different machines, simple as that. So make sure the co compose storm network is same as Kafka container. Uh, if you run it, everything is okay. So if you visit the uh, the dashboard. Apache Storm provide a, a native dashboard. You can see what your the cluster done doing and uh, what kind of port to process uh, the spout, boat, and so much more. Right, uh, Storm properties. So this is the port if you want to scale your topology, your number of spout and your number of boat. Let's say this is uh, this is the boat, right? This boat. Let's say you want to do for you want to. Uh, duplicate this boat for three machines. So you just increase the number of the port here. <coughs> uh, maximum time uh, seconds to process for one uh, iteration, 300 seconds. If more than that, the storm will auto uh, uh, put in the trash uh, and continue next loop. So it doesn't want, uh, the Apache storm doesn't want you to start in the, a very long process time. So now how to build the storm topology, anyone use stream pass here, hear about it, uh, PyStorm. So we use stream pass, so stream pass and PyStorm is basically is one company, stream pass is just improvement of the PyStorm. Uh, today we are going to use Kafka inside to the spout, uh, both we pull from the spout and inside the Elasticsearch. Assume I, I already spawned Elasticsearch inside the Docker Compose. Right. Am I too fast? All right. Too slow. Oh my god. <laughs> so we need to build this. <laughs> so we need to we need to create a directory stream pass slash task slash uh, name and source 
slash books. Uh, I use Confluence Kafka for the producer. I don't know why. I tried to use Kafka Python for dynamic group consumer. It doesn't work. So lucky we have Confluence Kafka. Uh, so I use Confluence Kafka for the consumer. I mean, for the spout, I pull. Uh, the consumer need to read the Kafka, uh, the pop Kafka, and the host, the name of the host of Kafka. And you can, uh, you need to give the topics, which is we already give Twitter, right? Uh, initialize, which is we initialize the consumer. Next stopper means that the next loop it will automatically call by the, uh, Apache Storm. So the next stopper is necessary, or else. <coughs> Uh, Apache system will uh, throw you an error. Uh, I want to pull uh, 100 message every iteration. And build our book slash series books. Eh, am I typo? I'm sorry. Well, for this one, uh, source slash uh, spout. No, books. Uh, similar thing, uh, make sure initialize we have. So this is the last book. It means that we want to put into the database. Uh, make sure, uh, so this is example you call to initiate uh, illicit search. So this is the process where to process the data. You get a tuple from the from our spout, right? Uh, I'm not sure why Confluence Kafka we return broker no more. So uh, do something like uh, after you process try. Uh, you process the data and do something uh, with your data. You want to uh, uh, classify sentiment, emotion, and so much more. It depends on you, right? After that, <coughs> store inside the data, and the end is necessary means that it's the end of the book, or else uh, because uh, Emmy was telling us the 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 health ping to the Apache Storm. If we doesn't put the Emmy uh, Apache Storm uh, assume. This boat is broken. So build our topology. Uh, so part, uh, part is a parallel numbers means that we want to duplicate the spot for ten times means that we want to do stream uh, batch, uh, real time processing for ten times uh, ten ten application parallelly. Yes. Uh, consumer or uh, spot here and we have the processing uh, pool for the sentence here. So the sentence. Which is from the spout output from the spout name sentences. So make sure it has the same name here. Here you can build your DAG depends on. Uh, you have another. You can have another spout. Uh, you you can have another boat. Pull uh pull from the same spout. No problem. Or we have another uh, boat depends on this boat. Depends on you. Build your own. Right. Uh, Docker compose which is similar thing. And if you build it, you can see the topology which is the spout. Uh, the first topology, and then we have the boat. Data from the spout go to boat. So this is the simplest topology. If you have a, uh, <coughs> if you have more complex DLG, you can see lah visualization. So if you done, you can check our data inside the the local host inside the Kibana. You, you try this, uh, you can see we have a date time, we have the text, right? Berianya juga tengok cerita, tak padan dengan kucing. Right. So near, now here come the TensorFlow. The reason is simple. Why we use deep learning? Accuracy is superior than machine learning models. Right. You can see the graph here. So deep learning understand the context. I'm um, thank you so much. I need water. No poison, right? <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, deep learning understand the context of the sentence. So the problem like uh, traditional model like probability Bayesian. So if we put uh, if if we train the mo the negate uh, words like I hate. So even the hate is reverse probability. Sometimes we put in social media it understand as a negative. Right. The power of the word better. Uh um sorry no. Right now we have a new model called attention transformer. Anyone hear about it? So attention no more word better. Long live attention. So never have a out of vocab. The problem like a uh, normal word vector, uh, Bayesian. So if we have a found a new words, uh, it treated as unknown token, right? Unknown words. So the, the good thing about attention, it never have a out of vocab problem because it built uh, on top of combination of character, not a word. Yes. So 
press right. Let me show to you. Uh, actually, that's uh, uh, that's the, the good thing about attention, right? Welcome to attention. Transformer, right? Bird, SLNet, uh, GPT two. So it's all behave like this. Uh, let me show to you after this. So we serve to understand bahasa rojak, sentiment, emotion, relevancy, irony, sarcastic, subjectivity, entity, political landscape, gender, toxicity. So we sell data. My company sell data. We don't sell dashboard. Dashboard just to show what you can do with the data, right? So we want to classify this real time, which is insane, right? So this time with PyCon, I included a very small size uh, TensorFlow, which is this model is really stupid. Do not use it for any environment, just to test. To classify a text negative or positive, right? Uh, in production, my company we use Bird Bahasa, which is a size around 200 megabyte. Uh, yes, we have we have Bahasa uh, Manglish, uh, Malay, Indonesian, uh, our local uh, language for inside the Bird provided by Malaya. Anyone here Malaya here? Thank you so much. Thank you. So we have bird that uh, can understand Manglish, which is much better than bird multi language, because it purely for uh, for our local language. So when deploying TensorFlow deep learning model, always feed the input as a batch, do not as a single string, because new network is a dot product. A single size dot product is a batch and size dot product. The speed is same. You can do oops in a single feed forward. Uh, or we use static graph, compile PB, and we just uh, we just edit the bold. Uh, make sure use absolute pass if you load the JSON of the dictionary. If you have dictionary, uh, absolute pass for the model. Uh, I'm not sure where is the local directory for the Apache Storm run. So just put uh, absolute pass. So this is just common how you load TensorFlow model. Uh, common TensorFlow fit directory process and you done this. Uh, put. Uh, don't forget to put the model inside the Docker file of the stop. If you done it, uh, now we have a sentiment label for the data, our data, right? Which is positive. Hell, this is really bad, but positive. <laughs> this is not really good, right? It's just an example model, two megabytes. It's not good. Do not use it. So result after Apache Kafka and Storm, no more data loss. So when we do CI CD because the zoo, the zookeeper store the data on local disk. Uh, scaling consumers down or up pretty easy on Kafka, right? And changes on consumers, uh, uh, Kafka quickly taking actions. So uh, Storm also pretty easy, not enough one machine to process. Scale up, you can use Kubernetes on GCP, right? Uh, scaling up machines can be done on GCP interface, which is uh, Kubernetes on GCP. You can click, click how many. Uh, uh, notes you want, it's very simple, very fast. So, no more lag, you can see it. Yes, real time improvement. Uh, build TensorFlow model as a microservice or serverless, and so much more. It depends on you. Uh, for me, it, it worked better under sync multi workers, G unicorn, and do a lot of load balancing. So, and second, do not manage a purchase product by yourself, find some support. Okay, it's very messy sometimes. Uh, I like to talk about Malaya. We are searching for contributor. So, why is Malaya is a natural language toolkit library for Bahasa Malaysia. So, it's powered by TensorFlow, 100% Python. So, we want to follow the current SOTA and apply NLP for Bahasa Malaysia. So, Malaya really is pretty for BERT, uh, SNN, and ELMO. So, we want to do more increased model size, data set, ERNI, GPT2, and Robeta. So, we have sentiment analysis, which is understand local uh, language, uh, uh, social media, and so much more. So we need to give, uh, we need, uh, we need to have a feedback from the researchers and the community want to make it much better. So if you help us, you can get access to Tesla V100, which is the single Tesla V100. The size is 32 uh, gig VRAM, very big and very expensive. And I don't know what to do with this GPU. Do we contribute to help uh, some NLP project for Malaysia and Singapore? Private and government, uh, we, uh, we got a lot of uh, emails to to collaborate together, and they say thankful for this library and so much more. So uh, acknowledgement, thanks to this company, they sponsor clouds for Malaya. 
uh, this company, uh, Lead Glow, they they is also enterprise to uh, to help fresh graduate uh, to learn system architecture, user experience, mobile and web de de development. And the good thing is everything is free. Uh, Key Reply is a chatbot company from Singapore. Uh, they work with our government. They build our chatbot for uh, Zakat, EPF, and so much more. I'm not sure why our government uh, is calling from the outside contractor to build a chatbot, right? So the good uh, Key Reply also is very massive company actually. They have a partner with Facebook, IBM, Zendesk, and Cisco. Uh, so Cisco, everything is there. Check it. Oh, you want to ask about attention, right? Yeah, okay. So go to the Malaya, uh, yeah, I don't have internet. I want to open my, I uh, still have a time, right? Yeah. Sorry? 15 minutes more? All right, I can talk more. So if you go to documentation of... Faster lah. Uh, attention, right? Uh, let's say bird, example. Uh, look, let's say I have a string, right? Alah, tun let ah, Ah, kenapa muka macam ni? Kan nagung, right? So this is social media text, which is really hard to understand, basic normal model. And the good thing is like, bird, it doesn't have a problem uh, out of vocab, which is it can understand any uh, any string. And it can understand the attention. So Allah tun let ah, so you know which, uh, which part of the string give the high impact to the result. Kan agong, 17, which is 17%. Uh, let, 17%, uh, so much more. So it doesn't have a problem to understand. Uh, it never have a problem out of vocab. So that's the good about attention. So because it built on top, uh, it built to build, uh, it built on top of the combination of characters, characters and gram. Uh, how about we look into uh, top sentiment analysis? Attention. Okay, this is quite baku. I don't want to baku. Right. So this is example. Kerajaan sebenarnya sangat bencikan rakyatnya minyak naik dan segalanya. So you know every part of the word actually bring the negative elements. It also can understand context. Every word. Uh, do not report me. This is just copy from a Twitter <laughs> because we are talking about government. Okay. Do not report me. This is just example. So, yes. Yeah. Emotion also, check also uh, emotion. Uh, emotion is quite from social media. Let's say, uh, kecewa tengok kerajaan baru ni, janji apa pun tak dapat. Alright, so some example here, from a bird. So, kecewa is more, I zoom it, okay. Kecewa is more about sadness. Tengok sadness, kerajaan is about fear. Uh, baru ni surprise because maybe he said, uh, he's, he think about maybe new government give new things, but janji apa pun tak dapat. He's surprised, but at the same time, he's sad. Fear? Surprise, surprise? Okay. Uh, fear, maybe he fear about the government? Uh, if you are... It's a, it's a good thing, right? Uh, why, how, sequentially? Or if you want overall, <coughs> you can check another parameter like uh, predict. So you can predict the only one, only one thing like this. If you want to stand, uh, understand the context, a uh, content which is every word, you can do like this. So we can uh, we can know which part of give the high attention, which is uh, six word. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Janji. This sentence. Yes. Here, here, uh, I'm not sure because I just want to study the content and try to run it on predict or predict batch. So it's janji the word you saw in that sentence. Why is it white? No, but hmm, I think I got bugs. <laughs> so for, so for, uh, emotion doesn't have neutral. Right. Maybe. Uh, fake news. We also have a fake news. <laughs> uh, fake news in Malaysia. We especially Malay, Malay, my Malayu really like to talk about babi, which is uh, pigs. <laughs> So roti Massimo mengandungi uh, mengandungi DNA babi, which is Massimo have a word a pig's DNA. So this is part of fake, but maybe that guy that he want to put elements of fake inside the actual uh, from a, maybe he copy paste from an actual source. So he combined some uh, fake news with the actual source. So the model can know which part of the sentence is a fake. Massimo mengandungi pigs, uh, mengandungi uh, konten pigs So, dinasihati supaya tidak uh, makan Massimo uh, Every word you can hover the mouse, you can check probability, positive and not relevant So, this is Malaya Yeah Which is, we do a lot of things, uh, entity recognition And we accuracy like bird attention model or if you check the accuracy for the attention model with the traditional deep learning model now we can say traditional deep learning model no longer traditional machine learning so this is traditional deep learning model which is Ricardo neural network compared with the bird which is but uh, the bird can achieve 98 percent accuracy on 20 percent uh, but uh, uh, Ricardo neural network the highest I can get 95 Come help help us together to improve together. Thank you so much. <laughs>